This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Face Attorney Investigations, not the prosecutor's path, because apparently we're not a prosecutor anymore. Edgeworth just, like, abandoned his badge on yep. the desk and then ran off after Kay, who ran off, and she's the murder suspect in the Forgotten Turnabout. We're on the middle part one. Let's start. We are stuffed with Culver's, and we are ready. Thank you for that background, Marty, that nobody cared <laughs> we about. We are ready to record. <laughs> well, we... We needed some food in our stomach. Now we're now we're totally now perfect. we're gonna be oh shouldn't so have eaten all those food. onion rings. Yeah, it's gonna be great. April fifth, five fifty eight p.m. High prosecutor's office is room one two o two. Edgar's gonna grab all his stuff and leave before they kick him out. He has to steal his king of prosecutors. Okay, she's not here either. Where well, in the right, world could she off. have gone? They took her off. I forgot. Okay. Hey yo, bro. <laughs> knock knock. I'm here, Mr. Shields. <laughs> What's going on, Miles? Why the lone face? Take it from Uncle Ray. You won't be popular with the ladies looking like that. I don't think Edgeworth has any pro problem getting popular oh, with yeah, the ladies. Oh yeah, all the girls love him. <laughs> Why are you here? Did something happen? <laughs> That's my line. Have you seen the news about the murder at the PIC headquarters? You're hearing. Wasn't it there today? I found myself wondering if you guys had somehow got caught up in it. Wait, it, it's already made the news? I hear they're searching for a teenage girl suspected of killing an attorney. I can't imagine it could have been her, but it has been bothering me. Could you give me the full rundown? The, the truth is... M Miles, are you trying to give your Uncle Ray a heart attack? I'm not joking, she really did lose her memory. On top of that, she's a suspect. That makes things even more difficult. Where would she have run off to? She lost her memory, right? I was hoping she would return here, but... Not likely. She felt responsible for what happened to you, right? Then there's no way she would have come back here. I know that, but where else can I look? Calm down, Miles. <laughs> this isn't like you. It's rare to see you get so heated up. Well, not that it's a bad thing. If you're trying this hard to save an innocent suspect from false charges, I'm sure you make a great defense attorney. Actually, just a while ago I turned in my badge. But that doesn't mean I've decided to become a defense attorney. I'm going to work at McDonald's instead. <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth working at McDonald's, he will bring in the would sales. You, would you like fries with that? <laughs> <laughs> All the girls are like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Besides, Kay isn't just a mere suspect. I may have only known her for a short time, like four weeks, Yeah. but we've been through quite a lot together. See, here's the thing. Edgeworth would not be working at McDonald's. He's a higher class He's man. He's working at Culver's. He's working at Culver's. No, Culver's requires you to be cheerful. Oh, uh, he's working at- Subway. <laughs> You're gonna eat real fresh. <laughs> he's at Subway? With all the weirdos? Yeah. You like wow. Subway? Wow. Okay, it's not that Subway's bad, it's just every time I've gone to Subway, it's always like the somewhat questionable people making your sandwich. You mean like hipsters? No, like, like I'm not sure if you're um, uh, sane enough to be making my sandwich or if you've gotten high in the back a few times. It depends. It, Let's know. just stop talking. I will. <laughs> I'm just saying. He's not working at Subway. And I know Kay isn't capable of murder. I'm surprised. I never thought you would go so far to support someone else, and I never thought you'd try to work at Subway. <laughs> I don't know if you even realize it yourself, but... It seems like a deep bond has already begun to grow between you and Kay. Heck no. I'd say it even gives my bond with your father a run for its money. Nope. No, it's not that deep. She just keeps barging into my state of affairs. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that girl can be quite a handful. But I'm certain that something has changed inside you since you met her. Nope. Not really. I'm really jealous, you know. After all, I lost my old partner. That's why you need to find Kay right now. I don't want you to lose your bond like your Uncle Ray did. Well then, I have a proposal. We have no idea where she is, and searching around blindly won't get us anywhere. In that case, why don't we try searching for the cause of her memory loss? Maybe that could give us a lead. Mm. I see. That might be a good idea. From what you told me, something must have happened to her at the Grand Tower. Great, that's it. Let's get going, man. 
Hey, at the very least, could you stop looking so grim? You were just there! If you stay that way, Kay probably won't want to come back at all. Good grief. I'm no match for this man. Yeah. April 5th, 6.42 p.m., Grand Tower. Ooh, the old lady's Viewing back. platform. It seems it's already dark. Still open on the day of a murder. You gotta admire their capitalist spirit. Wow. <laughs> but there's no one here. Looks like we've got the place all to ourselves. No, it's not. There's a lady there. To prove Kay's innocence, I'll need to investigate her lost memories. Hey, hey, let's go, Miles. We can investigate the roof as much as we want, so let's do what we can. <laughs> what am I going to do with him? Do what we can, huh? I suppose that's all we can do for now. Be good investigation of the viewing platform! Okay. We don't See? have a partner. Alright, well, let's her. talk to the ladies. Miles Edgeworth, so we meet again. What are you two doing here? Well, we came all this way, so I thought we'd buy some cotton candy. And what about you? You want folks to get the wrong idea about you? Do not worry. I will decide my own actions. Here, just a no-good ex-prosecutor. It's no wonder you got the axe. Wait, what? You got fired? You needn't be concerned with what happens to me. Are you sure? Um... Oh, yeah! What happened to Kay? Huh? Was there some sort of trouble between you two? Anything I can do to help? How about an injection? Stop trying to prick me! It's fine. Are injections her answer to everything? Oh, right. It's getting cold, isn't it? Let's go home. Well then, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, let's meet again soon. For a sec, I thought that, like, one of my theories was gonna be that she was- the old lady's just a puppet. <laughs> and, like, she's just, like, that's why she's talking for her. Interesting theory. It could be. I don't know. It's a statue of a creature with the body of a lion and the beak and wings of a bird. These statues seem to be guarding the entrance to this peaceful park. It's an immaculate work, down to the last detail. But since it looks so fearsome, wouldn't it frighten away the visitors to the park? They're just griffins. TV? <laughs> uh, you want to voice the shopkeeper? <laughs> uh, how about you, since I got the last guard? That's true. <laughs> oh, wait, I was about to do the forensics voice. <laughs> you, sir! How about some heavenly cotton candy heaven's tear? Yes. Heaven's tear? Did they name them after the shape of the clouds you can see from here? We tear a regular piece of cotton candy in half and then sell it without changing the price! <laughs> That's why the name is Heaven's Tear! We tear the cots in half while crying tears of joy! If the customers knew that, they would be crying tears of sorrow. <laughs> okay then! Alright, let's go away from that over eager guy. Eager guy. If you insert a coin, you can use these binoculars to get a nice view of the city. I'm sure if Kay were feeling better, she'd be happily glued to them. For her sake, I must thoroughly examine every nook and cranny of the viewing platform. Pretty. Unicorn. I saw an, an examine fiend for a second there. Yeah, I did too. There we go. It's a statue of a pony, sparkling in the twilight. Hmm. The statue has wings. Perhaps it's Pegasus, the flying horse of myth. No. There's a horn on its head. Could it be the legendary unicorn? But I thought unicorns didn't have wings. Hmm, what's this? There's a plaque at the bottom. The title of this work is written on the plaque. A Magical Contradiction. Oh. I suppose the only part of this work I was able to understand was the contradiction part. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny for the top of the prosecutor's PIC Yeah. Thing. I, I mean, they, it, they only have one floor. I still floor. wish it was Pain in Charge. Pain in Charge would be a much easier case to do. <laughs> also, it'd be a lot, um... No, it would make more sense, though, because I'm like, Prosecutor's Investigative Committee? Is that what it is? Prosecutorial Investigation Committee? Yeah, but it would be funny if it's like, they presented it as that, and then like, this dude is just like, uh, face. Oh, similar, he's just like a similar, figurehead, kind of? Similar to like, his son, who's kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing, this dude doesn't know what he's doing, then it's just like, Winston Payne is the one in charge of everything! And he's pulling all the that's, strings! And that's how he can still get cases, because it's like, well, we can't really fire Payne. Because he's in charge. Because he's in charge. So uh, that's why, we'll give like, him all he... the easy cases and put him against the newbie attorney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the ones who've lost their memory. <laughs> yeah. 
It's a cherry tree with branches spread wide. The flowers are nearly in full bloom. According to Kay's testimony, before she was pushed, she was standing under the cherry tree. Maybe the cherry tree was replanted overnight. What? Well, okay, because they were saying there was the contradiction with, like, if someone pushed her, she wouldn't be able to, um... There was a contradiction where it's like the person couldn't have been standing where they were when she saw them. Right, because they would have been off the building. They would have building. been off the building. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to process. Yeah. The person in the red raincoat who pushed Kay off the tower. She said they came toward her from the direction of the stand. From that, we can deduce Kay was pushed over the railing on this side. The railing is about as high as my chest. It's unlikely that someone could fall from here accidentally. Hmm. They throw her over. I don't see any particular problems with this railing. Uh, that spot that sticks out, though, I'm curious. Because you see how there's, like, one random spot where it's like, why is that... Like, circular? No. See, in front of the, the tree, there's, like, a square spot. Um. Right behind Uncle Ray. There's a square spot Oh, yeah, grass. yeah. So I'm wondering if, hmm. like, that's a place we need to examine. <laughs> that's a good point. Why do you think Kay lost her memories? Was there something she wanted to forget? Miles, did you say something horrible to her? Uh, of course not! I would never say anything that cruel to someone. Look at his expression! I've never seen I that I mean, one. you basically told a woman that you didn't care if you killed herself, so that was pretty terrible, but... <laughs> well, I might have said some unkind things to Detective Gumshoe in the past, but... Uh, I see... Now I feel bad for the big guy. Let's look at that square. Can we? I don't know if we can, actually. It's a, a cherry, nope, cherry tree. tree. Can we, are, is it already logic time? Maybe. Nope. nope. I guess we. Really? there's something we haven't examined yet. The pieces don't quite fit together, right? Maybe we have to go inside. I need to reconsider area. the information. Walk through there? No, we can't. Maybe there's something. We didn't examine the. Oh, we can't examine the door. Ah! Did she fall out of the tree? Ow. Okay. Um. Um. Don't mind me. I was just admiring the view beneath the tree. Did you just fall out of that tree? I didn't mean to fall. My foot slipped. You're a suspect, and yet you remained at the crime scene. That's not a smart thing to do. Even if you have memory loss, shouldn't you have realized this much? This whole time, while you were playing the silly game of hide-and-seek, I've been worried sick about you. Are you angry with me? Of course I am. Jeez. Answer me, what were you doing here? Logic chess. Did you think I'd let you off the hook that easily just because you have memory loss? Th that's not it! I came here because I thought I could get your badge back. What? If I don't regain my memories, you'll never get it back. I thought if I went back to where I lost my memories, then maybe I would remember. If I could just remember killing her. Actually, wait, question. Do we, do we know how old Jill Crane was? Jill Crane! 33. Oh, 33. We probably figured that out last episode and I just forgot. Probably. Raymond Shields. He's, He's 36. 36 and, He's looking uh, swagger. Wait, how old is, um, Beardy? <laughs> Beardy? That's what I'm calling him. Beardy is 68. We 68. went over that last time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Heh. <laughs> You're still the same as you were before you lost your memories. Your thoughts and actions have always exceeded my expectations. Without a doubt, you are the Kay Faraday I know so well. However, I cannot approve of your recklessness. I understand. Cut! You get zero style points, Miles. <laughs> or more like negative points. Then she sees Ray and they, <laughs> all of her memories come back. Here's how it's done. Kay, how about a hug? Uh, okay. Oh, -ho! well then. <laughs> Mr. Shields! <laughs> it was just a joke, honest. No, it wasn't. Something happened. 
Uh, is it me? Yeah. We interrupt the... Oh, is this, um... Is this... Justine? This is not Courtney. I think it's just random news announcer. We interrupt this program with breaking news about the Grand Tower murder case. The po police believe that the culprit is a teenage girl who was present at the crime scene. She remains at large as the police continue to search for her whereabouts. Real descriptive. It was a teenage girl. A teenager. Oh it's dear. Like Perry the teenage girl. <laughs> oh dear, this is getting pretty serious. Nothing. Well, Gane, what's the plan? We don't have much time. Indeed, it's only a matter of time before they find us here. So then, why don't you tag along with us for a while, okay? But I'll just cause trouble for you again. It pains me to say this, but I've got nothing left to lose at this point. Mr. Edgeworth! That settles it. We're all in this together now. We're all in this together. <laughs> you just put the, um... Basketball. Basketball. Or or whatever song they replaced that ending thing with. I don't remember from the bad lip reading. Oh, I don't remember either. I don't remember. Nobody <laughs> Miles, remembers. you're in charge of proving Kay's innocence. Failure is not an option. Yes, I understand. Kay, I want you to help Miles with his investigation as much as you can. Yes, I'll do my best. Let's be quick about it before the cops find us here. If Gumshoe finds us, he won't tell. <laughs> Unlike some people, Uncle Ray still has a lot to lose. <laughs> yep. Sheesh. If I lose the law office, I'll never be able to face Gregory. This man. I'm glad he's on our side. Aw, oh, that was nice. Talk to Kay. Yes? Can I help you with something? I came back here because I thought I might remember something. Could you again go over what you told me before? Um, well, it was raining, so I stood under the cherry tree to take shelter. But was it lightning? <laughs> and then a, red, a person in a rain in a red raincoat appeared. That person pushed me and I fell. Can you tell me anything about the person in the raincoat? I'm sorry. I don't remember that much. No, wait. As the person approached me, I saw the moon just over their shoulder. The moon? Yeah, that's right. It's just a faint memory, but... I think the moon was in the exact same spot as it is now. It was floating just above the cherry tree. She could see the moon behind the figure in the red coat. So he was like warping around, I guess? <laughs> This is a new piece of testimony. I'll be sure to keep it in mind. Maybe it's two people. Maybe it's like one person. There were two red raincoats in the first case. <laughs> it's just Nicole's parka and Shelly de Killer's raincoat. It's just Shelly de Killer and Nicole are like, oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, it could also be like, I think it's because I just watched Chamber of Secrets again. It could be like <laughs> mirrors. Oh. Doing stuff where it's like there's a the, no one's actually out there, but they see the red raincoat. And they see it's like, like 200 mirrors all pointed in no, just the right place. <laughs> they're actually just on the ground. It's like, oh, they're on the tower. There's like a hair flying around you. I think it's gone now. Okay. Was it a bug? No, it, it was not a bug. It was like hanging around your chin. Um, My pointy chin. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. Mr. Edgeworth, for a while now, I feel like I'm on the verge of remembering something. What? Is that true? Well then, please speak freely. Say whatever comes to your mind. Um, okay. I remember a faint scent. It was wonderful smell coming from the counter of a food stall. I followed the fragrance only to find a perfectly sculpted burger, resting on two golden buns. Ooh, she's like the second generation Maya. <laughs> Some juicy she's burgers! Diet Maya. <laughs> uh, the tender and juicy patty made me... Made my taste buds sing with joy. <laughs> Try this, your taste buds will <laughs> sing and dance. <laughs> yeah, I can remember what I thought at that moment. I wanted seconds! Uh, I don't think this memory has anything to do with the case. You called yourself the great thief Yadagarasu. You prided yourself on being a noble thief who steals the truth. Do you remember anything about that? Well... Maybe I was called a noble thief because I won the Nobel Prize! That's Nobel, not noble. And they don't give prizes for thievery. Okay, well, goodbye, Kay. Bye, living with the land music. 
That's not the Living with the Land music. That was the Living with the Land music. Do -do -do -do, or just Epcot oh, music. Oh, do you mean the, like, when you're about to go over the four foot drop? Or do you mean, like, yes. there? Okay. You mean the four inch drop? <laughs> not four foot. That would actually be a drop. Hmm, the pieces aren't fitting together either. Did I do the wrong ones? Do, 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 do. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Moon, shine down. Moon. Yeah, I did the wrong ones. Whoops. If I recall Kay's testimony, a person in a raincoat approached her from behind the candy stand. Then this person supposedly pushed Kay over the railing, opposing the stand. Moreover, Kay said she saw the moon over the person's shoulder. However, earlier I confirmed that the moon is floating in the opposite direction. And on the night Kay lost her memories, it seems the moon was in the exact same spot. Therefore, the positions of the moon and the person in the raincoat don't match up. Her memories have probably become confused. After all, had she actually been pushed over the railing, she couldn't have survived the fall. Perhaps I should question Kay's memory of where she fell. It would be really hard to fall over the railing. Like, unless you were chucked over. You know? Yeah. Kay was not pushed over the railing on this side. After all, if you fell from here, you wouldn't even be alive in the first place. But I'm certain I was standing under the cherry tree. If I fell, then the only place I would have fallen was over the railing. Well, maybe the ground just opened up from under you and swallowed you up. The ground here can open up? How? No, no, I, it was just a joke, Kay. Please don't take it so seriously. No. Strange as it may sound, that may actually be the truth. Even if it's only a small chance, it matters not. Let's try searching for the area around the tree. Kay could not have fallen over the railing. Well, that's what I was saying! There the must be something around here that proves it. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Yeah, that trap door thing was opened. That's exactly it. There's nothing unusual about this area. Uh, I, I, it was definitely an examined thing. Flower petals are scattered all over the ground. This reminds me of that terrible mini golf course on the Fantasia area. It was not terrible. That was fun. <laughs> no, Fantasia. They Green didn't Bays? clean up any of the like cherry blossoms that were on the ground or the yeah. leaves. Yeah. Well, and I like the other one more because it has more theming. But the one that we did do wasn't bad. If you're into that kind of thing. Yeah. You had that epic time that you shot your um, golf ball into someone else's hole and the yeah. people thought that their golf ball went in. You're like, nope. That was I mine. just overshot it. <laughs> the blossoms are not yet in full bloom, so the strong winds up here must be the culprit. Personally, I'd appreciate it if they spent a little more effort cleaning these petals up. Also, okay, like the on other, the golf course. The other thing with that golf course, it was wet. Do you remember that? Yes. Like the ground was wet. That was the thing that was bad. This is... Looks like a maintenance hatch. Okay, maybe you fell down here. Open. Nah, just kidding. There's no way something like that could happen. I'm sorry, I just can't remember if... No, that was just a joke. No need to take it seriously. Right. So, when should I take you seriously, then? When, indeed. <laughs> well, if you jumped into Uncle Ray's arms... Mr. Shields! <laughs> Come on, Miles. It was just a joke. A joke, you know? Oh, I get it. No one ever takes you seriously. Ouch. The that stun a bit. <laughs> this is exactly the conversations I have with my friends. Because I apparently cannot understand humor. Or, like, people joke about stuff where I'm like, are you being serious? They're like, no. I'm like, when, when do I know when you're being serious, then? And then I just deal a harsh blow. I can't believe this incident is already on the news. I wonder how they caught wind of it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they're doing a live report from that helicopter over there. Uncle Ray's gonna be on TV! Miles, make sure you tune in! <laughs> what, what is he thinking at a time like this? <laughs> Maybe it's- wasn't Nicole a, a reporter? Yeah, she Maybe was. Maybe that's what it is then. We only have one piece of logic though, come on. Logic, logic. Precision and order. Yeah. I already yeah, checked so, it. Yeah, so we already Maybe did all of that. Maybe there's another area we can look at. Or maybe we can talk to Kay a bit more. Talk to Kay. No, maybe we not. can't. 
No, apparently TV. not. Can we present anything? Look at the TV. Look at the stuff. We're seeing live footage from the 50th floor. The investigation <laughs> will continue through the night. Uh, police are searching for a 17-year-old girl suspected in the murder of an attorney. Breaking news. Yep. Uh, the 50th floor? Isn't that the meeting room of the PIC headquarters? Oh, a reporter. That's right! We can see the shadows of the investigators behind those blinds! Uh-oh, looks like making a clean getaway just got that much harder. It seems we have no choice but to cleverly evade the eyes of the media. Maybe Uncle Ray should have become a spy instead of an attorney. If worse comes to worst, I may have to use Mr. Shields as a decoy. <laughs> Miles, just now you were thinking of something terrible, weren't you? <laughs> I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny of this TV set. <laughs> um. Oh, wow, really? I forgot about this. This appears to be a live news broadcast. In other words, what we see on the screen is how the Grand Tower looks at this very moment. Does that mean we can be seen on the TV too? No, the camera is too far away and it's too dark to see us clearly. There's no need to worry. Where is the sculpture? Is the breaking, news, the breaking news is over it. it? Yeah. Dude, I bet Peter Pan is on that clock right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like about to turn it to six <laughs> o'clock or whatever. <laughs> it certainly would be bad if Kay were to be seen on TV right now. We're, we're, we're seeing live footage from the 50th floor. The investigation will continue for the night. The 50th floor? It's the same text that we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Depression? Isn't that another word just for feeling bummed out? out? <laughs> Why you ignorant swat? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're still investigating the meeting room. It As seems weird that they can't see the um, fountain. Mm -hmm. There is a huge contradiction in this image. I should present that piece of evidence. The piece of evidence should be that there is... The contradiction is found here. No, it's not. Is it? Grand Tower... PIC meeting room? Is the 50th floor. But if you look, the PIC meeting room is lit up underneath another floor. Eureka! Eureka! Okay. Do you know how many floors this building has? Of course. 50 floors, right? Just above the place where the PIC conducts, uh, conducts their practically illegal cover-ups. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Couples are wishing for love. Kind of ironic, don't you think? So, what's this dark area above the 50th floor? Maybe it's the Tunnel of Love. <laughs> Those are always dark, eh? The viewing platform we're on now should be directly above the PIC meeting room. However, the late night investigation is taking place two floors below us. This is a clear contradiction. Was there a mistake in the pamphlet? No, no, rather. It's more natural to assume this building has a hidden 51st floor probably the maintenance room that she fell into. I see! So that's where the Tunnel of Love is! Aww, she's so pure and gullible it's breaking Uncle Ray's heart. Then why don't you take this opportunity to be more serious for once? You just don't get it, Miles. I joke around to make things easier for you. On the contrary, his painful jokes only make things harder for me. Yup. <sighs> fell down the hatch to the 51st floor. I mean, that's not that far of a fall, though, but that also explains why she's not dead. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't be that much for her to be like, broken finger, broken head, broken yeah, arms. Yeah, broken head. <laughs> it, she has a head bandage. Yeah. An extra floor between the 50th floor and the viewing platform. Why didn't anyone notice it? Normally, you'd notice it. <laughs> I mean, how can you hide an entire floor? That is where the problem lies. No one noticed something that should have been easily no noticeable. In other words, it must be impossible to access the 51st floor through normal means. I see. Maybe there's a secret portal or something. Kay, now's not the time to be thinking of portals. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'd like you to recall the hatch at the base of the cherry tree. Isn't it normal to assume there's a room on the other side of the maintenance hatch? Heh <laughs> Uncle Ray lacks where you're going with this. Let's hurry and check it out. There. We go. Now let's see. This is... Looks like there's a lot of stuff down there. Is this what they call a storeroom? There's no doubt about it. This is where Kay fell down. Of course. And with this, the mystery is solved. 
No, not yet. We still have the mystery of the person in the red hood who is walking in midair. Also, who the heck is gonna believe Edgeworth? Right. Like, he like, gave up his badge, and then, like, Courtney would just be like, No, you're stupid. <laughs> and, and there's no way that that hatch leads anywhere, because this is the 50th floor. <laughs> like, literally. Yeah. Now, now, let's not get greedy, shall we? We found the storeroom, so let's wrap things up here. <sighs> I suppose you have a point. Hmm, it does seem to warrant an investigation. Investigation complete! Oh, I think this is you. Uh, well, if it isn't Miles Edgeworth, who is this? Ba -ba -da -ba. Yep. Is that Emma Sky? Emma? What are you doing here? Oh, bro, is this Emma Sky? <laughs> She's young again. She was in the first Edgeworth game for like two seconds. <laughs> I forgot that she was, though. Oh. She was in the, um... She was in, in the... No, no, no. no. Yes, case. that yeah. case. <laughs> I heard about the case from Detective Gumshoe. Since I was already in the area, I thought I might as well check out the crime scene. This girl's name is Emma Skye. She's a high school student studying in Europe to become a forensic scientist. She's the younger sister of my former boss and a witness in one of my trials two years ago. Detective Gumshoe told me everything over the phone. He sounded really upset. He said you lost your badge at the Grand Tower and Kay became a mummy! P please calm down. I thought you left for Europe just a few days ago. Don't tell me you've come back already. Yep. And I brought my teacher from abroad, too. He needed an interpreter, so I volunteered to help. If your teacher cannot speak English, why aren't you with him right now? He can still communicate with people. Don't underestimate the importance of body language. <laughs> Thanks, Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> the importance of body language. That doesn't really count as a language. But enough about that. What happened to Kay? Is she all right? My, my, what a good friend. Isn't this great, Kay? Yeah. Um, who are you? Are you Mr. Edgeworth's new assistant? Ha ha ha! On the contrary, my dear. I'm Ray Shields, head of the Edgeworth Law Offices. Edgeworth Law Offices? Wait, you mean like defense attorneys? Mr. Edgeworth, when did you suddenly become an attorney? No, it's not like that! Now that I think about it, it is rather a complicated working relationship. Don't sweat the details. Let's start with an introductory hug. Why'd you become a defense attorney, Mr. Edgeworth? Hey, don't just ignore me. Because I don't approve at all. Uh, hmm. Well, why don't we continue this conversation down below? That's right. The police could arrive any second now. Mr. Edgeworth, who is she? I'll explain later. First, we have to go down the hatch. Ah, okay. Guess I'll be joining the prosecu- uh, defense team. I'll explain about that too. Jump down the well hall. then, let's go, go, go to the storeroom. She looks like the... To be continued. She looks like the, uh, uh the, the... I can't think of what it's called right now. What is the name? The Cheshire Cat. I like, like her stockings. I, I like her stockings, like the candy cane ones. Yeah, she looks like a Cheshire Cat. All right. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We explore a storeroom, and this is where the case starts getting interesting, I would There's say. There's just dead bodies in the storeroom. <laughs> All so of them. many, so many dead, dead bodies. bodies. <laughs> that's Marty's Fury. You'll have to figure out if that's the case next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.